All right. So this is the last time I'm going to try and install this cam trigger wheel for my 240 and the Mega Squirt. Now, here it is. This replaces the factory trigger wheel in the cam angle sensor and allows you, you to use this as a crank angle sensor. The problem I have with this is I've actually installed this no less than eight times already and I could never get it to work. Uh, I found something interesting today which is updated directions buried in the website for DIY Auto-Tune that give the proper directions for this trigger wheel. Uh, the directions that actually came with the wheel were the wrong directions. They said set up as a 12 to 1 when this is a 24-2 wheel. So I'm going to give it one final try. I already have it running on the Mega Squirt and tuned um, with the factory wheel, but I would like to be able to convert this to coil on plug. So, let me get this distributor opened up. I've already made the settings changes in Tuner Studio. So we'll just swap out the disc and see if it cranks. And if it does, great, that's more than it would before. Um, before I couldn't get any RPM sync using the incorrect settings because they're wrong for the wheel. So, not too hard. Let's see if I can't just uh, scooch this up out of the way. Now, if I just want to drive this car the way it is, that's not a big problem. Um, it runs just fine with a single ignition coil. But I don't have as much control over the timing as I'd like to have. I'm not going to move the distributor or anything, I'm just going to go ahead and move the button and the covers. I've done this so many times now, I, I know the steps by heart. The factory wheel um, uses these four slits here on the inside for detecting the crank angle and these outer slits I think there's 360 of them um, the mega squirt can't use these outer slits so you end up using just these four inner slits um, installing this wheel is supposed to give you a lot more revolution you'll know exactly where the crank is which will allow you to do things like run coil on plug uh, waste spark and you get to get rid of the distributor, this coil, and that's uh, something that's going to be important for me because I'm going to eventually want to install a turbocharger. And having the distributor here, the coils, it's just right here where there's going to be a lot of heat. There's not enough space. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to relocate my power steering reservoir. I'm probably going to move it further back in here. Um, but yeah, so let's get this put in and we'll see if it'll crank up.
timing light hooked up, and we'll set the laptop and open up the garage bay doors and see if it'll start. All right. So there's the, the current new settings. I'll link to these um, down in the description of the video in case you've had the same issue. But let's get connected. All right. Here's a good comparison. Or you can see what I had before with the factory trigger wheel on the right. And the new settings I've entered on the left. So I'm going to send the current tuner studio settings. I've already made a backup. And let's see if it'll start. Oh, that sounds good. Well, that's definitely an improvement. All right. I have to make some adjustments here, so I'm going to switch this to fixed timing. Set it to 15 degrees. Let's see if we can't just get it to crank and stay running. getting sync. We are. I think our timing is just a little too far off for it to stay running. Hmm. So let's turn this down a little bit. 55 on the tooth angle. Let's see if that's close enough. Hmm. Well, that didn't make any better or worse, so let's try going the other way. Try 70. Hmm. It starts and immediately shuts off. All right. Go back way the other way. Let's try 45. All right. Well, I think I'm going to recharge the battery and try again in a few minutes and we're back so I let the battery charge up and while I was charging I did some thinking and I think the even the new documentation is wrong um, let's see if I can bring it up here I might just cut in a screen capture but they say we recommend setting the initial offset to 60 degrees 
and setting this timing to a fixed 15 degrees below a top dead center. Now the problem is they didn't tell you how to stab the distributor. On a recent forum post I read, they want you to stab the distributor. Wherever it's at. So it's centered in the tooth at top dead center. Well, I didn't do that. Mine is stabbed and set to 15 degrees below top dead center. Which tells me that my tooth at one angle should actually be zero because the distributor is already set to 15 degrees. So that's what I've set it to here. And let's see if it fires up. And we'll go verify with the timing light. Now that's amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the timing like says. Adjustment necessary. Finally, I've successfully installed this trigger wheel. I'll post my settings down below in the video description. I guess my next project is going to be to install these again. I want to go convert from a flow on plug. I made me a little bracket here. Um, since I got the trigger wheel working, I'm probably going to actually redo my harness here um, and make it full sequential. Um, I currently have it wired for waste spark, where you fire one and four and two and three at the same time um, in pairs. Um, but since I got the trigger wheel going, I should be able to now do full sequential and switch over the injectors to full sequential. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for this update.